Hello, we are back with another Yashahime video. We are here with special guest Kirara, Pikachu, Appa, Totoro, and Koya, and then a random dog. Yeah, we're here. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, definitely check them out. But I did one on the breakdown on like the plot and stuff like that when we first heard the news two months ago. And then I also talked about like this CD drama about Sashomaru and Rin and this whole shebang about that. And then I also talked about a lot of the news that came in during these past two months. And I also did like a little reaction video and a little bit of theory uh, on the trailer that just came out. So definitely you guys should check those videos out if you're new here to the channel because hello! Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about like the timeline and the ages and I just decided to do a really quick video on this even though I did talk about it in my first video but I feel like it was kind of confusing so I think I'm going to try my best to make it more sense because two months ago I did kind of figure out the timeline and the ages of everyone but it, it's just a guess I could say based on what we know. My calculations could be wrong but um, based on what we have this is what I believe is the ages of everyone and the truth of like the timeline and stuff like that. So I decided to just make a more clear video on it because I feel like a lot of people kind of skipped that video or like didn't see that part in the video so I just thought it would be really helpful to just make it like a single video on it and try my best to like make it make sense you know so yeah we're just gonna talk about that so right into it we shall get right into it lovely notes over here and research so basically what we know from the original show from Inuyasha is that time flows between the feudal era and the modern era consistently so when Kagome travels through time, she basically doesn't get to pick and choose like what day or like what time she travel to, right? It's like a 500 year difference between the modern era and the feudal era. So basically, according to Inuyasha Wiki, Kagome was born in the year 1982. And on the first episode of that show of the original Inuyasha series, she was 15 because she was like, it's my 15th birthday. <laughs> so yeah, so if we do the math, basically the year of the anime sets in the year 1997. So if we just do uh, 1982, which is her birth year, plus 15, which is her age, equals 1997. So that's the year that the anime actually took place. The manga actually came out or like started in November of 1996. So we're just gonna like keep in mind 1997, like how the manga, like the story corresponds with the current day of when it was created, right? For the final acts, Kagome was 18 and she also like freshly graduated from high school after the time skip and everything. She was it was like a three-year time skip where she was stuck in the modern era She wasn't able to travel through the well because the well stopped working and blah 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 So that means that it is the year Whoa So that means in the final act at the very end of the final act after the time skip or whatever it was the year 2000 So we just basically did 1997 plus 3 equals 2000 So that's the year of the time skip at the end of the thing Blah 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 blah, blah. So for Yashihime, we know that in the description that was released two months ago of like the characters, it stated that Toa was a modern girl living in the Riwa era. I'm sorry if I pronounce all these names, these Japanese words wrong, I'm trying my best guys. Basically the Riwa era started on May 1st, 2019. So that only started last year, right? So that's very like current. And currently, it is still that era in, in Japan right now in 2020. So we also know that Moroha, Satsuna, and Toa are all 14 years old. So then, we're gonna do some math here. So we're gonna just assume that it takes place in 2020 just because story always corresponded to the date of like the release date of the media, I guess you could say. So we're just gonna do 2020 minus 14. So it is 2006. So that was the year, like the modern era year that the girls were born. If we do the math, well, Kagome was 18 in the year 2000 and that means that Kagome waited six years to have Moroha which was 2006 right so we're just gonna do some basic math her age in 2000 which was 18 plus the six years that she waited which meant she was 24 years old when she had Moroha so in the plot of Yashihime it was stated that when they were four years old Toa went to the modern era and yeah so basically we just got to do like 2006 plus 4 which is 2010 so then if we want to calculate the age of Kagome in the bulk of Yashihime, like the main story part. So we just got to do 24, which was the age that she had Moroha at, plus 14 equals 38. So that means Kagome is 38 in the bulk of Yashihime, um, which is crazy, crazy. But yeah, so that's how I basically calculated all of like the important dates. 
So then if you want to do like the rest of the math and stuff like that, it's like really easy with all the characters. I, I, I can talk about them all, I guess. I'm just going to talk about the humans though because with the demon ages, it's really difficult because everyone ages differently. Inuyasha, confusing. I know he's like 150 during the bulk of Inuyasha and then Sashomaru was like 900 or something. Like, I don't freaking know, man. We're just going to calculate the, the human ages. So, in the main Inuyasha show, um, it was the year 1997. Kagome was 15, Sango was 16, Miroku was 18, Kohaku was 11, Rin was 8, Sota was 9, and Kaede was 60. So those are the ages of everyone. So then I also added a little like time skip thing. So I want to calculate like when Miroku and Sango have kids. Like when they first have kids, so like at the end of the final acts, it kind of looked like the twins that they had were like two years old, I'm guessing. So I'm assuming that like a year after the end of the the main show, which was 1997, before like the end of the time skip, Moroku and Sango had kids a year after, so like 1998-ish. So Sango would be 17 and then Moroku would have been 19. Time skip, again, two years to the end of the final acts, which is in the modern era would be the year 2000. Gome would be uh, 18, Sango would be 19, Moroku would be 21, Kohaku would be 14, Rin would be 11, Sota would be 12, Kaede would be 63. Um, so this is three years time skip after the main show, after like fight with like the jewel and then Kagome got stuck and blah blah blah. So that's the ages of everyone at the end of the time skip. And then we move on to Yashihime. So this is when twins and the kids were born. So it would be nine years after the end of Inuyasha's show, main show, but then six years after the time skip at the end of the final acts. So in the modern era, it would be the year 2006. Gome would be 24. Sango would be 25, Moroku would be 27, Kohaku would be 20, Rin would be 17, Sota would be 18, and Kaede would be 69. And then we got a time skip to the big fight when uh, the twins and Moroha were four years old. Like the fire and then the separation and then uh, happened. So in modern era, that would be 2010. 13 years since the end of the main show. Four years from Yashihime or their birth, right? Because they're all four years old. So during that time, Kagome was 28, Sango was 29, Moroku was 31, Kohaku would have been 24, Rin would be 21, Sota would be 22, Kaede would be 73, and then the twins and Moroha would be 4 years old. Now we skip to Yashihime, so the main show. This is 23 years since the main show, and 14 years since their birth, like the, the twins and Moroha's birth. This would be modern era year 2020. Kagome would be 38, Sango would be 39, Moroku would be 41, Kohaku would be 34, Rin would be 31, Sota would be 32, Kaede would be 83, and then the twins and Moroha would be 14 at this time. So yeah! And then if you want to add Moroku and Sango's kid, um, there was speculation saying that he wasn't the same kid at the end of the final acts because his name in the manga was different in the epilogue episode. So like if it was him that was born at the end of the final acts, he would be 20 in the main Yashihime show. But it's also likely that it's not him because I'm pretty sure they had a whole freaking village of kids, Moroku and Sango. But yeah, that's basically the ages of everyone, all like the humans basically, plus like the twins and Moroha I guess. Like the timeline of Inuyasha going into Yashihime and yeah, I, I feel like I'm really confident with this calculations. It's really easy because the only thing we really needed to know was the was like the date of the main show of Yashihime and then just like basic math after that. It was really helpful knowing that it was set in the real era, which is the current era right now, which just started last year. If anything, if I'm wrong, it could be just like 2019, the current year, or it could be set more in the future, which I kind of doubt because we've already seen the character designs of of Sota and Kohaku and they look about those kind of ages. So yeah, I feel really confident with my calculations. If you guys have any ideas and stuff like that, like I could be wrong though, but like if you guys have like any like pointers if I said anything wrong or any ideas of like the ages or like even if you guys can guess what age in Yasha and Sashomaru would be, like maybe physical age, maybe not their demon age, but like their physical age in human years. Um, I would love to know because my brain is not big enough to calculate that because like I that stuff is really confusing to me so if you guys would like to tell me and like try to calculate that for yourself um, let me know in the comments I'd love to see that 
Um, also give me a lot of like the theories on Yashihime that you guys have of like what happened. Um, I love reading those a lot. And yeah, I'm gonna do another video soon. Um, a little like analysis on the trailer and like my personal theories and stuff like that. I love to share that with you guys. So if you guys would leave your theories down below, maybe I'll read some for that future video um, that is coming very soon. So yeah, I've been getting so much love and support from this Yashihime series that I've been doing lately. And I just love it because like fangirling is just so much fun in my opinion and stuff like that. But yeah, I really hope that I can be like I've been helpful a lot because like I'm obsessed with this show because it's like my childhood. Yeah, it's really fun interacting with you guys. Follow me on Twitter. I post a lot of like Inuyasha updates that I find on there as well as on Instagram. If you guys don't have Twitter, I post all my stories whenever like I see something new and stuff like that. You guys get to know me, I guess you could say. And um, if you don't have any like of the social medias, just like subscribe to my channel and I try to update you guys as much as I can through the community tab. So yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the love support. Um, recently we hit 7k. We're on our way to 8k. Um, hopefully um, by the end of this year we can hit 10k and I'll do the chica dance for you guys um, as, a, as a little gift uh, at 10k <laughs> but yeah um, yeah um, I'll see you guys next time and I had a lot of fun um, making this video and nerding out and stuff but yeah I'll see you guys next time bye bye